Hey guys, how's it going? This is Orit here with How to Use Twitter Part 2. And the reason why I'm filming this video is actually because of you guys. I've gotten a lot of feedback from this video that you see on your screen, the part one, how to use Twitter for beginners on the Esatino channel. And um, I, I'm hearing, you know, it's been helpful to a lot of you guys in terms of understanding Twitter more and how to set up your profile, but you really want more on how to use the different functions of Twitter. So this video is going to go into that, how to retweet, how to tweet, who sees that tweet, what your home feed looks like, and, and just the basic fu functions of, uh, of Twitter. So let's go right into that. I'm gonna pull up my Twitter feed here. And this is, this is my home feed. So right here you see it's selected on home. This is my home feed, which means everyone that I follow, whatever they tweet, it's going to be here in my home feed. Twitter isn't like Facebook where it filters out stuff for you. You get to see every single tweet of every single follower that you have. And it's really, this is where it becomes important to follow who it is that you want to hear speaking on Twitter because whatever you're gonna see in your feed, you have the ability to go ahead and retweet that to your followers. So you can in turn use whatever you see in your home feed as content for your own Twitter page. So um, let's take a look here. Let's go through the feed and I'll show you what it looks like to retweet someone. And so let's see, on my, particularly on my Twitter page, I want to be sharing things with my followers, with my Twitter followers that is inspirational, that helps in terms of marketing or business for, for artists or creative entrepreneurs, um, that's motivational, maybe even it's a funny anecdote or just something really cool to share that's also creative and artsy. Um, anything like that is something that I wanna share with my followers. And also music too, of course. Um, so let's go ahead and look through the feed. Let's see, what can I retweet? Um, you'll see a lot of people have conversations happening. Um, here's someone saying thanks for your retweet today, Alex. Um, this is every, all you see here, all, everything in this feed is actually retweeted by this user right here, Alex Brady. Um, so let's just scroll things here. Uh, oh, that's cute. Um, but I'm looking for something inspirational. Let's see. Oh, here, I kind of like this. The secret of joy in work is contained in one word, excellence. To know how to do something well is to enjoy it. I love that. I, I connect with that and that's something I wanna share with my followers. So whenever I retweet something, which is used with this button right here, I also like it. And that's just to show my support for that follower. And it's just also something nice to do um, in terms of creating relationships with other people on Twitter. So I'm gonna like it and retweet it. And it's going to um, ask if I wanna add an additional comment. Um, you don't have to, you can just click retweet and it'll retweet this exact thing that you see here. So I'm just gonna add a comment here and say, Awesome quote. Retweet. And it says my tweet is posted. So if I go to my profile, which I can do by clicking my picture right here and clicking on view profile and going to my feed, this right here will show. See, I've, it's the exact same tweet that I just retweeted with my own little comment at the top. And so this kind of, um, so you can, you can continue to do this. You can, you know, it is good to come up with your own content, of course, but it's really important to also be retweeting other people's content because it engages with what they're doing. It starts a conversation on Twitter and Twitter is really all about conversations and creating those relationships. So let's see, um, what's something else I can show you here? On this feed, on my feed, you will see everything that I've retweeted, every conversation that I've had, every tweet that I've created. And so um, other, 
other uh, other people in the Twitter dome, whether they are your follower or not, if they come to your Twitter profile, they'll be able to see everything on your on your Twitter page. So every conversation you've had, um, every tweet you've made, every retweet, they'll be able to see everything that like that on your page. Um, if you are, you know, replying to someone else's tweet, um, it will show up in your feed. So again, keep that in mind that other people will see that. If you want to send a private message to someone on Twitter, that is with the direct messages, uh, uh, not page, but direct messages function feature right here. So let me show you the difference between the two. So if I want to send a direct message to someone, I can go message, create a new message, and enter the name of that person. I'm just going to bother Jewel. <laughs> Jewel Talentino, don't even know her username. There she is. Let's just bother Jewel and uh, and send her a message. Hey Jewel, you're on the how to use Twitter part two video. Ciao. So it kind of shows up and then I clicked send or I just hit enter on my keyboard. So it kind of shows up like this, like a Facebook private message um, where only she will see it. So only people that you decide to send a direct message to will see this. If I close out of this and I wanna reply to somebody in my feed, um, so let's see here, let's go Let's go to my notifications, which we'll talk about in a second here, what that is. Um, notif I went to my notifications because it's it will notify me whenever someone engages with my, my content or anything that has to do with my Twitter profile. So whether um, someone follows me, which you can see right here, whether I was mentioned in a tweet, whether someone has replied to my tweet, um, whether someone has liked my tweet. So I'm going to say thank you to someone and I'll show you what that, just to, so, you, so you can see what a reply looks like. So let's see here. Um, I don't wanna to go too far back because it's kind of weird to say thank you to someone who liked a tweet about a week ago. So let's just see here. Um, well, I'll show you this. This is a conversation that I'm engaging in. Um, and you can view that conversation by clicking this link here and it'll show you all of the, the previous tweets related to that conversation. So there's only been this and this one right here. So um, someone mentioned me in this tweet of theirs um, and and someone else, so I'm assuming one of their followers responded to that, replied to this saying, this is an amazing painting, love the texture, etc." So I'm going to jump in on the conversation, click reply, and it's automatically going to include everyone who is a part of that conversation. So Tina, for one, and Jim, who uh, initially started the conversation. So I'm going to say here, um, totally agree, love the texture. Um, looks really lifelike. Great work, Jim. And I'm gonna hit tweet. And now I've engaged in this conversation. This tweet that I just made is a part of that conversation. It's also going to show up in my feed. So again, other people will see this. My followers will see this in their home feed. And also no, uh, people who don't follow, follow me, but who come to my Twitter profile will also be able to see this in my feed. So. I hope that clear clarifies who sees what. I know I've had that question, like when you do a tweet, who sees it, where does it go? Um, so just keep that in mind if you wanna send a, a private direct message versus a, um, uh, a, a just replying to a tweet, other people will see that.
So hopefully that helps touch upon the basics of replying, direct message, um, the home feed, and also go talk. I talked a little bit about the notifications. Um, quickly before I end this video, I wanted to mention use the notifications as your tool for starting conversations in Twitter. Whenever you um, uh, check check your notifications frequently, or you could just use your your phone to um, to notify you whenever you have some some new things going on on Twitter. Um, go into your notifications, see what those new notifications are. Um, have people maybe you have some new followers? Have new people followed you? Um, go ahead and message each one of those people saying thank you for your follow. And I talk about this in my in my first video. Um, thanks for following. Um, how's your day going so far? Or maybe commenting on something that they've posted in their feed. Use it as a tool to engage in conversation. It will really help um, not only create a relationship with that person, but create more exposure for you too, because other people will be seeing this. Their followers will be seeing your uh, name in, in that person's feed because your tweets will be included in that conversation. So, uh, use that use the notifications as a tool for creating conversation um, and if there's any other questions specific questions that you guys have I know I haven't talked about hashtags in this video but um, let me know if you do want to know more about hashtags it could really be an entire course on its own but if there's something specific that you wanted to know about hashtags like why you even use it in Twitter or um, you know what the purpose of it is please do let me know I will be happy to create a video as long as you guys are out there wanting to know that information so that is all for this video guys please feel free to check out part one of how to use Twitter if you haven't already also check out our social media social media simplified course which has an entire section on Twitter and how to come up with content for your Twitter page and scheduling and all that kind of stuff and um, once again like subscribe if you found this video helpful I will see you guys in the next video ciao